What is up, YouTube? Catch them all, Cam here. Uh, brand new to the YouTube space, and uh, you know, going through and you know, starting a uh, a little bit of a side hustle here, doing some some Pokemon cards. Uh, you know, for a lot of you, you've probably been seeing that Pokemon's getting really popular again, and uh, you know, there's a lot of money that can be made. So, being really new to the channel. Uh, or excuse me, to the platform. My channel is probably going to be mostly about, you know, how to uh, how to take something you love like Pokemon cards uh, and and make some money off of it, you know, and uh, uh, hopefully, you know, even potentially get to a point where you can make a career out of it. Uh, that would be a lot of fun, right? So um, anyway, uh, tonight uh, we are going to be opening 112 packs uh, from various sets. And you know, seeing if we can pull some some rare cards out of there. We've got Sword and Shield. We've got Cosmic Eclipse, Darkness of Blaze, Unified Minds, Evolutions. We've got a lot of really good packs here, and there are a handful of really valuable cards in there. Uh, so we're gonna jump right in here and uh, start opening some packs and uh, see what we come up with. So let's get at it. Uh, why don't we start with uh, some of the some of the fewer packs that I have. Um, uh, let's start with Crimson Invasion. I only have one of these guys for tonight. Now, Crimson Invasion uh, does, you know, it doesn't have super valuable cards in it. It's got a Gyarados GX uh, that's worth about 35 bucks. Um, you know, so hopefully that'll be the one that we we pull out of here um, if I can even get the thing open. So let's, uh, let's see what we pull out of here. Now, one thing I'm going to do in this channel is I'm always going to give you guys the codes. So if nothing else, go ahead and subscribe so that you get plenty of code cards. All right, so let's see here. I'm just gonna kinda go through this real quick. Um, I don't think uh, you guys are really interested in the, the regular stuff. Uh, so the rare we've got here is a Marowak Hollow. Pretty cool card, but not really gonna have, you know, the value that we are looking for. So. That is it for Crimson Invasion. That was fast. I've got a couple of other single packs here. I figure we'll burn through those first. Let's do Rebel Clash. Uh, Rebel has the Frostmoth in here. Frostmoth, however you want to say it. And uh, it is going also for about $35 raw. Um, now, any of these cards that are you know, $30, $35 raw are going to be you know, a pretty good value once they're graded. So and, you know, coming out of, fresh out of the pack, you got a real good chance for a uh, uh, for a PSA 10. So uh, got nothing there. Non-hollow uh, egg slash egg slash. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. Uh, I was in Pokemon when I was younger in middle school, and uh, you know those names I can pronounce. But a lot of this newer stuff is is new to me. All right, so we got a uh, Celestial Storm here. I got one pack of that. Um, and uh, forgive me, I, I got a, a cheat sheet here of you know the, the top cards that we're looking for. Let me just put this here and make it a little easier. Uh, so in Celestial Storm, there is a Rayquaza GX. Um, it's number 177, and it is raw about 50 bucks. So if we could pull that out of the one pack of Celestial Storm that we have, that would be pretty epic. So there you go. There's the card, code card. Uh, I'm gonna give this a try. I'm not sure if it's you know four from the back but I'm gonna try it and see. All right, we got some fire there. Let's see what that special card is if we get one. Is that it? It's the Deoxys. Yeah, but it is non-hollow, so not gonna be you know, the one that we are, are looking for there. All right, let's move it right along here. Uh, team Up from Sun and Moon. Pretty cool pack. Uh, in the Sun and Moon Team Up, uh, there is a Latias and Latios that is worth about 65 bucks. Also a Pikachu and Zekrom that's worth about 40 bucks. Um, all of these prices I've gotten off of uh, TCG, um, but I, I primarily use uh, eBay sold auctions. So if we find something really cool in this video, then uh, I got the computer here. We will look it up on eBay and see exactly what it's going for. So here's your code card. You want to use that one. And this is Sun and Moon Team Up. Uh, I think this will be you know, a little more fun if we do it this way. So let's see. Ooh, we got the lightning. Maybe we got the Pikachu. Let's see. 
Nope, we got the mime. Mr. Mime. Not the value we were hoping for. That's okay, though. All right, we got a lot of cards to open, so I'm going to kind of burn through these as quick as I can. Now we got XY Breakthrough. Uh, on Breakthrough, there's really not much in this set. There's, there's not a lot that we could hit that would be very valuable. So, uh, you know, yeah, and we got the, uh, the Parasect non-hollow as the rare. All right, now, um, as we go through all this, if you guys are watching this and you see something you like, and it's only been a couple of days since I've posted this, uh, head on over to my eBay store, Catch Em All Cam uh, on eBay, and all of the cool cards that are on here will be for sale. Okay, let's do, now we've got a couple of multiples, let's go ahead and do Lost Thunder. So in Lost Thunder, um, this is where we have the Lugia GX. Uh, so this is, uh, and that card, the Lugia GX, is number 227, and it's going to go for about 50 bucks raw. So that would be a good, a good hit for, for the evening here. I'm not sure if all of these are going to be four from the back, but we'll give it a try. What do we got? Nope. Unknown. And that is our, our rare for this one. But we got another pack. Let's do Lost Thunder and see what we can come up with. All right. While we're in this, shout out to my boy PokeRev. He is the one that has kind of inspired me to, uh, to go ahead and and start making this channel and and get things going. Uh, quick story time after this pack, uh, but let's see let's see if we got the uh, what we get here. What do we get? Is that Espeon? We got the Espeon. You know we're not even really getting hollow hits at this point, so so we're not off to a great start here. Um, all I can say is thank God I did not pay retail for all these packs. So. Uh, while we get into Unified Minds, I have two packs of those, um, which before I, I go into story time, the card we are looking for here is Mewtwo and Mew. Um, it's going for about 100 bucks raw, uh, which in my experience, PSA 10 is going to be, you know, five, six hundred dollars. So we'll, we'll see what that one is if we find it. <clears throat> but uh, uh, so the reason I even started this channel is um, I promised my daughter loves Pokemon and she loves YouTube. She has a lot of folks that she follows. Um, I promised her when Champion's Path came out that if we pulled the Charizard, either one of the new Charizards, that I would go ahead and open the, uh, the channel and we videoed it. Um, and that's gonna be on here. Uh, it may not be on here yet because I'm still figuring out how everything works and, and that one is so cringy and it's so bad quality and I apologize, but I am gonna post it. Uh, we did find the Charizard. Uh, rainbow and it was amazing it was a lot of fun so here we are now we're doing a channel all right now Mew Mew 2 that's what we need out of this pack can we get some love no not on this one but we got a Dragonite now, I love Dragonite is one of my favorites uh, but Mew 2 has always been my favorite uh, as you can see with my uh, icon, um, Mewtwo has always been a favorite of mine. So I'd really love to pull that card out of tonight's openings. Here we go. Are we upside down? We are upside down. All right, we got some fire. Can we get some fire on the rare? No, we did not. The Galventula, that one's new to me. I'm, I'm not familiar with Galventula. And the reverse rare we got is U-Turn Board. Now, the reverse rares are cool, but they don't have you know, a ton of value. Some of them have some value. Uh, but we are looking for, for the big cards tonight. All right, I got two packs of XY Steam Siege. All right, and XY Steam Siege. We are looking for the Gardevoir EX, um, which is only going to be about ten bucks for all. So you know, not a lot of value there to look for. But these are all pulled from um, uh, pin packs and and uh, collector boxes and things like that. Pin boxes 
and uh, I do have a, I got six uh, elite trainer boxes of sword and shield, so we got a lot of short sword and shield to go through, and a lot of singles. All right, so we got the uh, Hydrigon, Hydrigon Hollow. We got a Hollow hit at least. Now, I am gonna hang on to that guy uh, just because I don't know what he's worth. You know, some of these Hollows can be worth you know a couple of bucks, and uh, you know they're still worth selling. You know, if you've got an eBay store. A couple bucks is a couple of bucks. And we'll get the money where we can. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, thank you. That's the reverse. Is that it? Did I go too far? I did go too far. Gastrodon, non hollow. It's the rare. Okay. Now we've got most of the. Uh, most of the lesser packs out of the way. Uh, let's go to Sun and Moon. I've got three packs of Sun and Moon base. In Sun and Moon, uh, we are looking for a couple of cards that are worth about 30 bucks um, for all. You got the Switch, the Metal Energy, Embryon, and Espeon GXs. Um, any of those would be a, you know, a good pull. And honestly, for 30 bucks, I'd rather send it to grade and you know get 100 120 out of it uh, when it grades well so let's see uh, if we can get one of those guys here we got the the beware beware we are not having a very exciting opening so far but that's okay we've got a lot of packs left to open and if you found the rare cards in every pack it wouldn't be any value to it. All right, so Sun and Moon, what do we have? Butterfree. All right. Again, not much going on yet. We need some fire to come in here. Uh, I will eventually do these live, I suppose. You know, if I start getting some subscribers, you know, I'm starting from zero. So, you know, if you guys are digging this content and, you know, feel like you want to learn a little bit about you know, the money that can be made on uh, Pokemon cards, you know, and turning something you love into, you know, a stream of income, then, uh, you know, go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's do it, let's go, let's, let's all learn it together as we go. Uh, now, we did get another a Reverse Hollow Dragonite, love that guy, I'm probably going to hang on to that one. Okay, uh, so nothing out of Sun and Moon. Okay, let's go with Guardians Rising next. So I've got four packs of Guardians Rising. This is also Sun and Moon. In Guardians, we've got the Sylveon GX, number 158, or $45 raw, according to TCG Player. The TCG Player is usually right on point with eBay sold, but that's what I prefer to use. So... Let's see. Let's see if we can get a Sylveon out of here. Nope. Not much coming out of these packs. Guys, I, I am so sorry, you know, but this is the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you open a crap load of packs. I mean, we got no GX. We got no EX. We got nothing right now. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. At least we got a hollow hit. This is Mudsdale. Mudsdale. Uh, I guess he's like a Clydesdale, like a horse there. That's pretty cool. Cool little hollow. All right, two more packs. Sun and Moon, Guardians Rising. And we are looking for the Sylveon GX. Some of you may want to see all these cards, but honestly, I'm sure that you've seen all these cards a million times, so we, I skip right ahead to the good stuff. Okay, that is uh, Gothitel. Gothitel, that's another new one that I know nothing about. Non-hollow. Last pack. Sun and Moon. Guardians Rising. If nothing else, guys, 
you are getting a ton of code cards to use online. Let's see, what do we got? All right, Sharpedo. Still not hollow. Man, we are just striking out tonight. Maybe it's because I don't have my daughter with me. She's usually my lucky charm. She's found all my good Charizards. Um, I mean, just, just nuts the kind of luck she has. All right, so now we're getting into the the bigger, uh, you know, bulk of cards that I have. I do I have, do have one more though that I only have three of, and that's Burning Shadows. Um, you know, Burning Shadows now has some really good cards in here for resale. We've of course got the Rainbow Charizard GX. It's card number one fifty, three hundred dollars TCG player raw. Um, we're also looking for Dark Fairy and Fire Energies. Um, that are going to go for $60, $50, and $40 raw, according to TCG Player, um, respectively. So, we've got three chances. If we could pull a Charizard for our first hit of the night out of 112 packs, that would be epic. So, let's do it. Let's get some love in here. Let's let the gods shine down on us. Alright, what do we got? We got water. Can we bring the fire on the water? Boom. What is that? That's the Tapu Fini GX. Alright, not one of the, the greater cards that we're looking at, but still, finally, a GX first one of the night. Alright, maybe that means we're getting, we're getting some love going here. And we're going to get some... Some cool pulls out of tonight's opening. All right. <clears throat> I do have two videos of Champion's Path opening, um, so those will be on the channel as well. And then I'm going to hopefully have some more here by the end of the week or next week. All right. We got the fairy. Not the hollow one that we're hoping for, but what do we have here? Hmm. Not gonna do it, Weevil. That is not gonna do it. All right, last pack of Burning Shadows. We got the Ho-Oh. All code card. You guys will always get the code cards if you are on my channel, so subscribe for that alone if you want. Oh, now that's a good sign. That's a real good sign. Two of the Charizards that I've pulled in the last two weeks were in Fire Energy Packs. We need this one. We need this one. Ah, Raichu. Raichu was the pull. It is a hollow hit from Burning Shadows. Cool hollows in there. Get it shine. That's pretty cool. But we did not get the cards that we were looking for. Man, we, we are not really making waves here. All right, let's switch it up a little bit. I've got a lot of Sword and Shield. I've got 61 packs of Sword and Shield. Uh, so let's go through some of these guys and see if we can, see if we can shake things up a little bit. Uh, the, the most valuable card in this pack, uh, in this set, according to TCG Player, is going to be the Zacian, or Zacian, however you want to say it, V card, number 211 of 202, a secret rare, that is going to sell for $50 raw. So graded, you know, would be a you know pretty good find to have. What do we got? More Peko, more Pico. All right, keeping it rolling. All right, let's go. Let's go, Sword and Shield. Lightning. All right, we got a V. We got Delmacy. Delmacy. Delmize? Delmize? Am I saying that right? Tell me if I'm saying that right. Tell me in the comments how to say this guy's name, because I have no idea. V. 
we are finally getting a little bit of traction though, a little bit of movement. We're not gonna open all 61 of these. We'll take a break from these guys and you know, open up some evolutions next. So hang in there. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Ah, Sandaconda. They got really creative with the names in uh, some of these uh, newer packs. I always thought that was uh, one of the stronger points of the Pokemon franchise is that they, uh, they were really creative on the naming of their, of their characters. You know, we're just going to go straight through it. Uh, we got a Knocked Owl, non-hollow. Not what we're looking for. Let's keep going. We're gonna grind through it. We're gonna grind through it together. Just be glad this is not live. So I'm pretty sure you guys would be bored to tears at this point. This has just not been eventful, you know? But it happens that way sometimes. It happens that way. What do we got? Obstagoon. Obstagoon. Got a lot of this guy in um, um, Champion's Path. A lot of that guy. All right. Let's keep it moving. Again, we are looking for the Zacian. Tell me if I'm saying that wrong. We're looking for the Zacian V, number 211 of 202 in this pack. That's really the only card that we are trying to hit. Lapras. A lot of folks love Lapras. That's one of the OGs in the Pokemon franchise. Let's keep it going here. Fire Energy. Oh, and we got a little fire. We got Betty. Beady. Betty? Bead? You guys have to forgive me. I, I'm not up to date on how you say all these guys. I am not up to date on that. Uh, but we do have the, uh, you know, the, the, the shiny card here. It is, uh, you know, one of the, I believe this is an ultra rare. Number 199 of 202. Not sure what this guy's worth, but we will find out later on. And as always, these guys will be for sale on the Catch em All Cam eBay store. Uh, a lot of the stuff you find on my store will be vintage as well. So if you're looking for vintage cards, you can check, check that out. Um, and I have my first CGC submissions coming back uh, here in the next week or two. So we're gonna have some CGC slabs for you to choose from. CGC's gotten a, a bad rap here so far. You know, a lot of folks are saying they're, they're not going to be good, that they're going to be discount, you know, graders, and uh, the Galarian Rapidash. I swear that looks like uh, something from My Little Pony, right? Um, but the uh, thing is, I've, I've been doing a lot of research on CGC. You know, those guys are the industry standard for comic books. So it only makes sense that they would get into trading cards and that they would know what they were doing. I think one of their head graders is from PSA. All right, let's bring some fire. Nope, not it, or Beetle. So yeah, so CGC and, and the biggest thing you know about PC, PSA, I'd probably be using PSA if their lead times weren't, you know, four to six months just to get a card back. I mean. It's crazy, and their their express, which is two weeks, is still seventy five dollars. So really, really kind of pricey, you know, to get those cards back, get them graded. From the research that I've done, you know, and I've tried to do comparison prices on eBay sold auctions between CGC and PSA of the same grade, and. Um, I mean, honestly, I'm seeing them within a couple bucks of each other. I mean, just from what I've seen, there's no reason that the value of a CGC slab would be any less 
than that of a PSA slot. And I'm not just saying that because I have them. There we go. All right, we got a Morpico V. Another V hit. Excellent. All right, let me get some momentum going. We're gonna get through this stack and then we'll open some evolutions. All right. What do we got? Hmm. Nine tails. One of the more popular of the OG Pokemon. Love nine tails. One of my wife's favorites. Probably, my, probably her actual favorite. Let's go. We gotta pick this up. There we go. Another V hit. I don't know how to say that guy's name. Torkoal? Torkoal? It's like a tortoise? Cool. V hit. What I'm gonna do with this channel, as I said, is I'm gonna kinda take you guys on this journey, you know, of how to uh, hopefully turn something that you love and enjoy into a feasible source of uh, income, you know. Um, so, one of the things, the, the biggest thing is you gotta be willing to sell the cards. You know, that's the key. Um, you know, becoming an influencer like on YouTube and just opening and you know, building your collection and having folks watch it, like, that's great, and that would be so cool to get to that point where, you know, I could keep some cards and, you know, stuff like that, but, you know, the, the money is in, is in the cards, you know, people are trying to build their collections, so, you know, if you're, if you're a collector, you may struggle with this, because when you find that rare card, you're going to want to hang on to it, uh, the trick is, though, you've, you know, you've invested your money, into finding it, and now you've got to get a return on that investment. Another nine tails. You know that's that's the whole the whole game. So uh, luckily for me, you know I love Pokemon, but I'm a collector of nothing to be honest with you. I have zero collections. Um, so I'm doing all this for you guys. <laughs> we'll we'll put it that way. Th these these cards are for you. Oh, these cards, however, are just crap. They are not working out to our favor. So I paid about two fifty a pack for these various packs, which is is not the greatest. But you know, I'm just starting out, so I don't have a whole lot of clout, you know, to get better pricings. But that is the next step in the process. Is um, I'm actually formalizing my business and uh, the next step is to uh, get in with the distributor and hopefully uh, I can buy at distributor level pricing and get a lot more cards. All right, let's take a break from Sword and Shield. We've still got a good bit of packs here. I think we're probably about halfway through them, maybe a little less. Uh, let's do some evolutions. XY evolutions. All right, I have six packs here. In XY, we are looking for the Charizard Hollow um, or the Reverse Hollow, either either one. Uh, TCG puts the the Hollow at uh, thirty five dollars. Um, personally, I know that it's a little more than that because I just bought one that was in near mint condition on eBay for forty dollars, um, uh, and I've seen them as high as forty five or fifty, uh, depending on how good they are. Uh, but graded, you know, you're going to get $100, $150, so that's a good investment in my opinion. You know, um, right, I'm going to go through this one first because I don't remember what the uh, pullback is. It's four still, okay. All right, so in this one, we got the Haunter Reverse. Haunter Reverse. A lot of people like Haunter. And what I love about the Evolutions set is that it's nostalgic for me because it's a you know, it's a, basically a reprint of the base set, and I love it. I, I just, I love the base stuff. It's so nostalgic for me when I was in middle school and, you know, these guys were coming out. Oh, here we go. Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan, hollow. 
hollow hip. Very nice. I think I counted that one wrong, I, I guess. Uh, but we also got the Vulpix uh, reverse. There we go. I guess I counted that wrong. I need to do another count. The reverses are cool, but the, the hollow, the hollow rare is uh, what we're actually looking for. Let's see. It's three from the back is what it is. Three from the back. Okay, so we got the reverse hollow Magikarp. Cool. And we got the non-hollow Mewtwo. Uh, in the base set, I have uh, three of these guys getting graded right now. Uh, one of them in particular, I would be amazed if it doesn't come back. CTC 10. I mean, this thing is flawless. So if you're looking for... Um, for a Mewtwo from the base set, want to focus there. There you go. Then uh, make sure you check back to my uh, my eBay store. All right. What do we got? Doug Trio non hollow, and then the Poliwag reverse. Oh, still not much action from these sets. Got Pikachu. Everybody loves Pikachu. If you don't like Pikachu, you probably don't like Pokemon. I'll just be honest with you. Raticate. And Tangela Reverse. Last one. Oh, getting away from me. Last pack XY Evolutions. Come on, Charizard. Where you at? We have just gotten really, really, really hosed tonight. We're not pulling the love. RK9. And ooh, Psychic Energy. Hollow. That's pretty cool. I love the hollow energies. They're, they're cool. So if you're wondering what to do with, uh, with all of these reverse hollows and regular hollows that, that just don't have much value. Um, I'll sell them in bulk. You know, I'll put them all together and put a listing on eBay. And, um, you know, they'll always sell. Somebody's, you know, going to be looking for, you know, either all the cards that you have or just a couple of them. And, um, you know, they'll, they'll buy them, so... You definitely want to, especially when you have nights like tonight where you're just not hitting anything, you really want to get back as much of this as you can. Um, I got about 300 bucks in this, and I need to get back, you know, as much as I can of that. Okay, uh, let's do some more Sword and Shield, because we got the most of those. And then we're looking for the Zacian V, number 211 of 202, $50 raw card all right another Betty or BD or however you say it that's the second one of those for tonight number 199 of 202 If you guys have stuck around, you've gotten pretty good mini code cards. Ah, Cinderace. It's it's getting bare. You know, when when I start getting this low in the packs, I start getting, you know, like, oh, did I waste my money? Well, no, you never waste your money. I mean, this this, this is fun for me. You know, the fact that. The very last pack could have the card. And it only takes one. One card graded to, you know, a nine to get me three or four hundred bucks, then I've at least made my money back and I had a lot of fun doing it. So to me, that is not a waste whatsoever. Bolton. He's pretty cool. Looks like Bolt in the kids' movie. A dog who's an actor dog that thinks that he's a, a real superhero dog. Kids love that movie. Hell, I love that movie. Mm. 
Nada. Nada. Uh, so if you're looking at what to do with your bulk as well, so um, I was looking at uh, Troll and Toad. A lot of stuff is getting returned right now because they are just getting inundated with bulk. I mean, they are getting covered up. So the best place that I have been able to find for my bulk is actually on eBay. You know, Troll and Toad's going to give you three cents a card, you know, for for the common and uncommon, and you know, maybe eight cents a card for the rares, something like that. I just put my, my bulk on, on eBay. You know, I'm always honest about it to say, you know, look, this is bulk. There's not a lot of good stuff in here. Um, but I'm averaging like 10, 15 cents a card, you know? You gotta do something with it. I mean, you don't wanna just throw them away. Oh, here we go. Stonejourner, Stonejourner VMAX. There we go. See, that's all it takes, just, just one. That is the VMAX. Let's let's pause here for a minute because uh, that's that's the first decent pull that we've had. Let's let's see what this guy is going for on eBay sold. This is number one sixteen of two hundred two. Let's see. Sold auctions. Ugh. Not that great, guys. To be honest with you. About four or five bucks with free shipping. Four dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars free shipping. Hey, it's something though. Cool artwork. It is something. All right, I feel I can I can at least feel like all right. We we've we've broken the seal now of the more rare cards. We got the V Max. Broke the seal. Let's. Uh, Let's let's get it, man. Let's get in here. Let's get it done. There's another My Little Pony, Pony Ta. What do you guys think of uh, Champions Path so far? Uh, you know, leave leave me some comments on uh, on what you're thinking on on Champions Path and. If it's, uh, you know, is it worth the hype? I mean, you know, you got the two Jarzards, you know, three counting the promo, you know. Honestly, other than that, I kind of prefer Darkness Ablaze myself. You know, Champion's Path, you know, it's, it's new and it's, it's a lot of fun right now. And it's fun to see people, you know, selling out stores just because it's not something that you heard about with Pokemon, you know, over the last several years. It's in the last probably two years is what I'm seeing is that it's been uh, really coming back hard it doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon that's for sure right you that champions path what is it uh, my buddy uh, Jonathan he said there's a there's a great value uh, blastoise in there <laughs> let's see uh, the Walmart brand Blastoise. That's fun. Cinderace. I'll tell you what, opening you know, 100 packs, I think the most I've ever opened since I, I started doing this is about 350 packs in a sitting. And I look at guys like PokerRev and like, bro. Oh, oh, here we go. More Pico VMAX Rainbow. Look at that. Look at that. We got a VMAX hit. 204 of 202, secret rare. All right, I haven't looked this guy up. Let's let's see, let's see what we're going for on here. 204 of 202. Let's see how we're doing on eBay here. Okay, all right, about eight, nine, ten dollars, eleven dollars, ten. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So, you know, I, I wonder if anybody's uh, grading these, though. Let's see. I always look for PSA because there's just not enough sold of uh, CGC yet to really see what the value is. Right, so here was a 10, a PSA 10 for $42. Uh, 
Um, this looks like a Beckett, 9.5 for $40. So it looks like maybe, you know, $35, $40 or so. Um, I'm new to grading, but looking at this one, this one looks like it could be a 10 contender. I don't see anything on here. There's no white on the edges, no print lines or anything like that. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and top load this guy. Uh, just because, you know, I, I may put that in with one of my bulk submissions for CGC. Cool. Anyway, like I was saying, I, you know, I watched the guys like Pugger and bro, I, my, dude, my heart goes out to you. How do your hands hold up to all of these openings? I just watched him uh, yesterday open like a thousand packs. Like that is insane, dude. Like, oh my gosh, seven hour live stream or six hour live stream. That's, that's crazy, bro. You're the man. Let's bring the fire. Pow. All right. Got the Sable IV. Not much value in that card, but hey, it's something. It is something. Okay, let's take another break from Sword and Shield. So I've got Sword and Shield. Uh, looks like I got, how many packs we got here? This is what we got left of Sword and Shield. Now, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and burn through some more. Because I do have some Darkness Ablaze and some Cosmic Eclipse. Both of those have some very valuable cards in the set. Um, so we'll, we'll do, we'll, let's do a few more. Let's do, uh, what do you say? We do, um, let's do five more packs. Burn through Sword and Shield. See, I'm telling you guys, like, that's the thing. Like, you know, I said I got, I got $300 in this opening tonight. Um, you know, it only takes one pack to, to get into profit. And that's all, that's all you need. Oh, I am upside down. Look at that. There you go. Professor's research. So, you know, bulk alone, 15, 20 bucks probably. Uh, you know, a couple of decent cards. Get them graded. You, know, you don't want to put too much money into your grading, you know, just simply because, you know, by the time you ship it, and grade it, and do all that, break even on the card that's not worth it boom all right Caldeo V yeah but just from the pulls that we've got here and you know I, I will sell the the pins and the, um, the little figurines we I got you know, the true steel a couple of the true steel ones you know, and I have the figurines here you know, I got some cool pins and stuff and believe it or not you know sell your pins Sell your pens. These guys sell on eBay. Got the Umbreon. You know, people will buy that stuff. Um, you know, even the jumbos. So I pulled some some jumbos out of here. You know, uh, the Umbreon's cool. Uh, what I'm doing is I will sell the duplicates that I have, but I'm doing kind of a uh, a photo wall of the jumbos. Going to put them in frames. Be just kind of cool little little wall that uh, I'll probably end up using as the background at some point for my videos. Probably not down here, I'm, I'm downstairs. And I'm, I really don't think my uh, wife will let me put Pokemon on the walls downstairs. Uh, that would be uh, next level. Next level. All right. And I know, I know I'm going through fast here, guys, but you know, I'm, I'm new to YouTube and I know we're already going on 44 minutes on the dot here. But that's the thing, you know, you never know when it's gonna come. You never know. Leave a comment. Tell me how you would like to like me to handle these kinds of videos, you know, that get long like this. Um, if you want me to uh, fast forward. You know, between the um, between the good finds, and just put some music in the background and not listen to me yap. Or uh, you know, are you okay with some good some conversation? You know, I don't mind sharing my thoughts and stuff like that. Hopefully, I can teach you a little something. All right, uh, let's do darkness. All right, so I got 13 packs of darkness. I don't want to do them all at one time. We'll open. Uh, let's say we'll open just over half of them. So two. Four, six, seven packs. 
seven packs of Darkness Ablaze. We don't have any Charizards. We are going to save the uh, Charizard arts for last. To be honest with you, uh, the Charizard VMAX that I pulled a couple of weeks ago was in a Charizard art pack with a fire energy. It was amazing. All the stars lined up. So I say I, say I pulled it. I didn't pull it. My daughter Aylin pulled it. I'm telling you, she has the most amazing luck with these pulls. She's pulled just about every valuable card that I have out of the new stuff. Water and, oh, size or V. Size or V. Cool, don't know what that guy's worth. Have to look it up later. Darkness of Blaze, um, people will pay more for, for this set. This is a set that people like, and it's still in stores. You can you can still buy this. Uh, these packs at my uh, local Target here are $4.19 a piece. Um, I've been going in there a lot, you know, waiting for Champion's Path to come to our area, which is behind. We still haven't even had it hit shelves yet. And every time I go in there, I buy a couple of packs just looking for that VMAX. Oh, we got the Grimmsnarl V back to back. All right, come on, Darkness, let's go. Let's build it up here, and let's get another Charizard VMAX. That's what I mean, guys. It, one card, that one card, it's $100 raw, but sent off graded, PSA 10, $500 to $600. That's all it takes. Mine is at PSA right now. They are in the grading process when I got the update yesterday. It's in Express, so it will be available on my eBay Fingers crossed for a uh, for a PSA 10. Uh, but you never know, it could be a 9, 10's hard to get. Either way, that's gonna be available on my uh, Catch'em All Cam eBay store as soon as it comes in. Here we go. Nada. Not the one we're looking for. These are not the Pokemon you are looking for. God, I'm so nerded out. I'm, I'm so sorry. I apologize. Uh, you guys watch Star Wars? I like Star Wars. All right. My packs, my uh, stacks, I'm getting a little, little tall there. I can, I can foresee an avalanche in my near future. All right, we are drawing close to the end here. Lugia. For those of you who are watching this video, and you know, I and first of all, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch a new video from a new YouTuber who doesn't even know what he's doing. You know, I, I really appreciate it. And if you've made it this far, 48 minutes in, man, you are the best. You know, stick around. You know, this channel's gonna grow. You know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, as we go through this stuff. Two Lugias, back to back. So thank you for sticking in here. So go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell, because I am gonna be posting, you know, a couple of times a week, you know, to start with. I wanna get that notification when the video is up. All right, back to Sword and Shield. Let's uh, let's knock out these uh, next seven. Let's see, what do we got here? We got seven, so we got 10, four, six, eight, 10. We got 20, 20 left. Let's do 10 of them now. All right, Sword and Shield, Satian V. That's the card we want, $50 card. Rated PSA 10, gets us our money back on the set. That's not it, that's Snorlax. I'm gonna have to start putting some cards on the other side now. So guys, this is gonna be your channel. You know, just like it is mine, just as much as it is mine. Give me some comments, give me some pointers. What do you want to see? How do you want to, you know, what kind of 
tips, advice. Do you want to see, you know, how I find my cards? Do you want to see how I sell my cards? Do you want to see how I package my cards? I have to package out like 10 to 20 cards uh, a day, you know, from eBay sales. Lapras V. There he is. You know, um, and, and making sure that the cards get there and, you know, intact and in good condition is essential. You know, if you're going to start a business like this. So packaging is key and, you know, I, I had a little bit of trouble figuring it out at first, but now I've got really good packaging and, you know, my feedback on my eBay store, you know, people love my packaging because I try to go above and beyond on that. You know, there, there's nothing worse than, than buying a card just to have it ruined because then you got to deal with it, I got to deal with it. I'd rather spend a little more money on the packaging, you know, to make sure, whoop, to make sure that you're gonna get that that card intact. What do you want to see? There we go. Celebi. Celebi or Kelby? Hard C, soft C. Tell me in the comments below. Talk to me. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what kind of music you like. I'm gonna have to put some background music on this thing. Obviously, it's going to be royalty free. I don't have any money from the channel to uh, put into, into some dope music. But I'll find something cool. Put some background in here. Well, you're not just listening to me drone on, you know, in dead silence in the background. Knocked out. I'm going to bob my head like I know what's playing, but. I have no idea what music's gonna be on here. <laughs> oh. It's still been a pretty thin opening, but we're not done. We got Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic Eclipse has the Charizard and Brakeson team up in Rainbow. It's a $120 card TCG. I have one of those. It is also getting graded currently. Uh, that is actually the first Charizard that I pulled. I got back into ripping packs for Pokemon cards. When I got started in this, I uh, just started buying vintage. I, and, and I still buy vintage. I buy full collections from people here in town and um, you know go through and resell them, grade the good ones, you know, um, but I wanted to get into some of this new stuff and opening packs. I bought one pack at a Target and had so much fun opening it. Didn't even find anything, but I was like, man, this takes me back. So th this this is a lot of fun. So I'm going to continue to do this. This is, this is definitely a lot of fun. How many we got? We got 11 Cosmics. We're going to open five to start with. Let's go. Let's go. Good team up artworks on here. Cosmic Eclipse. One pack can change the whole night. I'm guessing it's four from the bag. Should be. That's not it. Come on, Muck. Alolan Muck. Everybody's got a Muck. While we're going through these, so I'll tell you why I started looking at Pokemon as a viable business. Oh, let's take a break. Let's let's focus. We got the fire. Come on, fire. Oh, we got the Silverly GX. Oh, when I saw the shine, I thought, <gasps> could it be? It was not. But a GX hit nonetheless. A really cool artwork. You guys, cool. So, the reason I decided to uh, start looking at Pokemon as a side business is what, what I've been doing for most of 2020. For starters, I, I'm always looking for a side hustle. Always. You know, gotta get that money. Um, so, I have been buying uh, storage units, just like in storage wars. Buy them at auction, people default, can't pay their bill anymore, so 
slap a lock on it, you know, kind of sucks for the folks who, you know, probably hit some hard times, but it's the reality of life, you know, and, uh, these, these guys, they, they got to sell the, sell the units and, you know, creates a viable business for someone else. Um, so I, I've been doing that and then the virus hit. When the virus hit, the auctions all stopped for obvious reasons. But since they've started back up, they have been garbage. No good auctions going on. The good ones are getting way overbid on because nobody has stock or inventory from before COVID. And uh, oh, what do we have? Vileplume GX. Vileplume. There we go. Okay, Cosmic, I see you. I see you over here trying to pull some good stuff. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm cruising through Marketplace. I'm thinking to myself, you know, what can I buy and resell, or what is somebody looking for? What can I do for some side hustle? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish out this uh, sword and shield. And uh, I saw a post on Marketplace. This guy was selling his old Pokemon collection. It's all vintage. It's a binder. And I said, you know, I wonder what the market on Pokemon is doing right now. And um, <clears throat> I looked it up and I saw what some of these cards were going for and I was like, holy crap. These cards are stupid expensive right now. So I said, you know what? I'm, I'm willing to gamble on a, uh, on a storage unit. Why not gamble on a binder of Pokemon cards? So I paid $260 for my first binder of Pokemon cards here locally. Guy was happy. He made some good cash. Um, I, I knew a couple of the cards that were in there, so I knew I was going to make a little bit of money. I didn't know how much. Uh, there was a Blaine's Charizard in there. It did have a crease in it. So, you know, and at the time, I don't know anything about, you know, current grading. I don't know anything about, um, you know, what is, you know, what people are paying for these things. So I put it up, put these cards on YouTube. The, the Blaine's Charizard sold for $80 with a crease in it, right? Big crease, too. And that guy was happy as a clam to get it. Um, so that's why I said, you know what, we, we, we may be on to something here. So I started going through, uh, you know, more and more. Uh, I bought more. I bought a lot. I bought a lot of collections. I bought every collection I could find. I, I, so one of the strategies that I use is uh, I actually have an ongoing post on Marketplace and, uh, you know, locally on the Facebook pages here that says, hey, you know, if you've got a collection of Pokemon cards that's just chilling in the closet, let it make you some money. Shoot me some pictures, I'll buy your collection. You know, some people have collections that are a little more valuable than, you know, than they're willing to let go of. You know, that's not really what I look for. Uh, you know, I, I can't pay collector prices because obviously that's, that's the price I'm going to sell it for. Um, but, you know, there's tons of people who are just like, you know what, just, dude, like, what do you give me? A couple hundred bucks? Sweet. You know? Awesome. Um, so, you know, they're happy. I'm happy. You know? Everybody wins. There you go. Gengar. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, so that's, that's how it all got started. And I started looking into grading. I've done a ton of ton of research to get up to date. I feel like you got to do that anytime you're starting any kind of side hustle or side business or, or main business. This is something anybody can do, you know? This is this is easy. Uh, teenagers, you know? You don't want to go work for Chick-fil-A or you don't want to go work for McDonald's? Sweet. Start a Pokemon hustle. Makes a lot of good money. If you do it right, if you're cautious, don't Gamble too much. Go where the money is. Wait for for the good deals, the ones where you're you know you're not going to make twenty percent. You're going to make two hundred percent. Those are the ones you want. But at the same time, just get started. You know, you gotta start somewhere. All right, we're down to the end of it. This is what we've got left. Darkness ablaze. Cosmic. I'll be perfectly honest with you. As of right now, I don't think I can get my money back. 
out of what I've got in these cards. Uh, but there are six, 12 cards, 12 packs left that could change that whole mindset. It only takes one card. What's first? Cosmic Eclipse. I would love to find another VMAX, so I'm going to save those for last. There is no uh, Charizard VMAX in the uh, Cosmic Eclipse, except for the Charizard Breaks and that we are looking for here. How awesome would that be on like my second or third video of the channel to pull one of those guys live? That'd be cool. Ah, that's not it. That's Embor. These Cosmic Eclipse packs are kind of harder to open, too. Like I say, guys, if you've stuck around for an hour, if nothing else, you've gotten a heck of a lot of code cards. Fighting Energy. We are fighting till the end to find that good card. Ugh, not yet. Weevil, get out of here. So far, this opening has been trash. Trash. Empoleon. Evie Evolutions, I think. I don't know. I'm not up to date on everything. I will be. Bear with me. Oh! All right. Guzma and Hala. Tag team. Pretty cool. Not sure how much value it has. If I had to guess, it's going to be somewhere between $5 and $10. Um, it is not a secret rare. It's $229 of $236. We'll look that guy up later. See what's up. We're down to the last two packs of Cosmic Eclipse. Would really love to pull that Charizard Breaks in again. That would be amazing. And we got some fire. All right, as we get down to the end here, we got to focus on the fire. When we get the fire, we've got a chance. Oh! That's not it. That is a uh, Seismitoad. Interesting. All right, guys. This is it. Last chance for Charizard Breaks. Can we get it? Last pack magic, as PokeRev calls it. Lightning! Show me some lightning! Ah! Oh! Okay, this is the uh, Arceus and Dialga and Palkia GX tag team. All right. I had one of these guys uh, in, in a different card. I can't, I can't remember which one it is. It was a little more valuable. Not sure what this one is. Uh, again, guessing maybe 10 bucks. 221 of 236, maybe five bucks. I don't know. Uh, but a cool card. At least a good way to end the Cosmic Eclipse, not just on a on a bust card. And the blackjack players, you'll know what, what I'm talking about on the bust card. <clears throat> All right, guys, this is it. We're drawn to the end here. Six packs, Darkness Ablaze, looking for Charizard VMAX Full Art. Let's go. Let's go. Lightning. Mmm. That's not it. Escavalier. Let's see your name. Alright. I know you guys are probably at the end of your rope if you stood in here for over an hour and four minutes now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Psychic, are you there? I feel you. Ah! I am not psychic. Kangaskhan, another OG Pokemon. Code cards. Fighting to the end. Not it. Muck. Three packs. That's all we've got left. And they are Charizard. Artworks. Can we find... The Charizard. Let's do it. Let's 
Let's go. Let's get some, some energy. Let's go. Come on. Fighting energy. Ha! No. Two packs. We're down to the wire. Fire. I'm going to save this one from last. We've got the Charizard pack art. We've got the fire energy. We've got two of the three to line up. We're going to wait. I, I, feel, I feel good about that one. I may be wrong, guys, but I feel good about that one. Fighting energy. Mm. Gosh. How crazy would it be? Last pack magic. Let's pull it. Let's see. Ah! Oh! Surfetched. Guys, tonight is what you call a bust. I'm not thinking I'm going to get any money back out of these. But I had a lot of fun opening them. I hope you watched the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments of what you thought, uh, what you're thinking, and uh, you know where you'd like to see the channel go. And uh, you know, just, we'll, let's do a quick recap. You know, we we did get you know some some pretty decent stuff here. I say pretty decent. I mean, we got some stuff. Uh, we got two uh, two trainer uh, BD Betty. I don't know how you say it. We got the Torkoal V. Delmas V. Tapu Fini GX. More Pico V. We also got Stone Drenner V Max. RCS and Dialga and Palkia GX tag team. Guzma and Hala. Fileplume GX. Silverly GX. We got Celebi, we got Lapras, Grimmsnarl, Sizor, Keldeo, and Sable IV. We also did get the Morpio, Morpico VMAX. That's the only rainbow that we got out of the set. Uh, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you will subscribe, tune in, uh, show some love, show some support. Only takes a second to hit that subscribe button, and uh, it's going to mean the world to me. So I really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a good night, and uh, we'll see you in a day or two.